This is NECO 2023, question number five, and the question says, uh, that is question number five E. The question says, in a certain school, the principal gave the analysis of the qualified subject teachers in the school as shown in this very table. So the question asked here is to draw a pie chart to illustrate this very information. This is the table. These are the subjects there, and these are the number of qualified teachers. So it is this information that we are going to represent in a pie chart form. Solution to this very problem, what you do first is to write or to draw a pie chart, you have to get the total number of teachers there. So the total number of teachers is what we are going to do first. So I'm simply adding this number of teachers. That is 10 plus 8 plus 4 plus 6 plus 12. If this addition is done correctly, you have 40 as your result. To draw a pie chart, always you have to calculate angles for each item. So here I'm going to calculate all the angles for each of these items. That is the teachers for English, teachers for mathematics, teachers for physics. So starting with the English, how many qualified teachers? It is 10 out of 40 teachers. So I'm going to have 10 divided by 40 multiplied by 360 total angle in a cycle. If this multiplication and division is done correctly, you have 90 degrees for angle representing the sector for English. If I move to mathematics, it's the same. How many mathematics teachers? It is 8 divided by the total multiplied by 360 and this if done correctly you have 72 degrees the next is a FedEx FedEx you have 4 teachers divided by 40 multiplied by 360 this angle will now be 36 degrees for FedEx so I will continue like that for French if you did correctly it will give you answer 54 degrees for biology if you did correctly to give you answer 180 degrees so these are the angles which I'm going to represent on my part pie chart. So I'm going to next do the pie chart. So I'll open my compass, put it at one point here, which I just mark. Just to make a dot somewhere and put the end or the pointed part of the compass at that very point. Look at it. And draw a large cycle like this. Look at it. Then you now pick your protractor. I'm going to measure all those angles using protractor. So let's just draw one line. This is my starting point. So I'm going to place my protractor here so that uh, I will now measure this angle 90 degrees exactly for this uh, sector representing English teachers. Let me pick my protractor, I'll place it like this. Somewhere here is my angle 90 degrees. If I'm starting from here, from zero, let me just make a small dot there. This is now 90, so I'll move the protractor and draw a line from where I make that very dot. This now represents the English teachers. So I'll move to the next is math, mathematics angle 72. So I'm going to place my protractor again like this so that it starts with zero. And the zero line is now on this line that I have just drawn. Then I'll now mark angle 72. Look at 72 is somewhere here, 72. I always read from zero. This is 70, look at it, this is 80. So count to small division after 70. This is the point. So you can now remove the protractor and draw a line like this. This subpars the sector for mathematics. So next is the pedex. Put your protractor again back and measure this angle 36. 36 will be somewhere here, look at it. After 30, count to six small divisions there. You make a dot, then you remove the protractor and draw a line from the middle to this very point. This is bad example, 36 degrees. So next, uh, next is the French 54. Put the protractor back and take angle 54. Angle 54, look at it, is 50. We are reading from the, the line that started with the zero place from the scale. From the scale starting with zero, this is 50. So count to four small divisions. That, that gives you 54. You make a small dot there. You remove the protractor and draw a line. Then in the last segment, of course, is now going to be 108 if all those angles are measured accurately. So this is the pie chart. And we have answered this very question when you do this. 
So let me just share with you how this equation is marked. The very first mark is the bonus to two marks, and this bonus to two marks is for calculating the angle C correctly. If all the five angles are calculated correctly, you have this bonus two marks. If anyone is wrong here, is minus half a mark. And the next mark is bonus to two marks. When you now draw this pie chart correctly, with the angles measured accurately, then you have this bonus to two marks. For any wrong one, is minus half a mark. So if everything is correctly done, you have this four good marks.